Today we're going to talk about something in the news. We're going to talk about Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods. And so this is a very interesting development in business. One of the fundamental questions that or challenges that businesses have is to provide value to their customers. And Amazon, of course, has specialized initially in online business book retail, and they've now moved into other areas, Whole Foods in the grocery business, particularly with, with, with respect to organic foods. And so this is a very interesting development in terms of Amazon's movement into other spaces as they continue to grow. They have particular things they do well, certain core competencies, Whole Foods does also. And ultimately for customers, particularly with respect to the grocery business, they're co focused on cost, but they're also focused on things like convenience as well as quality and innovativeness. And so over time in grocery stores we've seen the development of national chains like Kroger, here locally Schnucks, discounters coming into that space like Walmart and to a lesser extent Target, and then specialty retailers like Whole Foods, Fresh Market here in Evansville, and now Amazon entering that space. We've had over the years since e-business developed in the internet over the last 15 years or so, we have had some companies try to experiment with grocery delivery, and it's never really worked very well. What will be interesting to see is what Amazon is able to do with Whole Foods, because Whole Foods has 400 plus stores in the United States, and this may solve for Amazon the question of the last mile getting products to customers. It's one thing to order something and have a delivery truck delivered to your doorstep in a box, but fresh food is probably something that you're going to be less likely to want delivered to your doorstep. Plus, you like to be able to see it, you like to be able to touch it, and so the marriage of Amazon and Whole Foods may better serve that 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 challenge. One of the things we know, again, there's 400 plus stores, Whole Foods stores in the United States. Again, not one in Evansville, the closest in Louisville, in the uh, St. Matthews area. Millennials, though, have been very attracted to Whole Foods. Interesting statistic is that last year, about 24% of all millennials bought something at a Whole Foods store. So Whole Foods already has a firm market in that, uh, in that segment with millennial customers. And so millennials are interested in cost, but they're also very interested in convenience. And so it'll be interesting to see how Whole Foods is able to evolve over time, now being under the umbrella of Amazon, in terms of Amazon's competencies with respect to e-business and Whole Foods' abilities with respect to organic foods. Whole Foods sales have been a little bit flat recently. They've been under, impressures, under pressure from some investors in terms of growing profitability and growing their share price. And so that was prior to Amazon's acquisition. Let me just mention briefly, we'll talk about this more at a later point, but one of the other implications, and that is for not simply the grocery industry and the impact of this acquisition on companies like Walmart and companies like Kroger, but also the restaurant industry. Because tonight, for example, in the United States, one of every 10 dinners that are served will be, ha will be have been bought somewhere else. They will have been bought at a restaurant, they will have been delivered or they will have been bought, say, at a deli at a grocery store. And so one of the trends in the, in the restaurant industry is called the grocerant business. That is to say, meals that are convenient, that are prepared, that people pick up. Restaurant sales have been flat over the last several years, but online sales are growing. Last year, online sales over the last two years, online sales, digital orders to restaurants have increased 45%. So Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods not only again is going to impact the grocery industry, but may well also have implications for the restaurant industry as well, where these two sectors, groceries and restaurants, are essentially substitutes for one another, and so we're going to see increasing competition. So this is a part of business, this kind of what we call in business and economics creative destruction where firms come into business and they succeed they make decisions or they or they fail uh, one other key statistic is that if we look at the S&P 500 which is now 60 years old um, in terms of the companies that are on the S&P 500 only 
or fewer than 100 of those companies have existed on the S&P 500 for the entire time period, the 60 years that that has been in existence. So new companies are always coming into the marketplace. They're able to offer something of greater value to customers. And so again, Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods has implications for the grocery industry, but also for other industries as well. So we'll continue to follow things in the news.